Kia ora whanau. On this episode of Tangaro, I'm here in Samoa and I'm going back to the basics. Village life, simple food, and just living like a local. Not at a koutou ma, haere mai. Okay, bro, cut it there, eh? That'll be sweet. <sighs> hey, mate. Yeah. Hey, bro, what time's tea? What time's dinner? Uh, 7.30. Cool, and they got the crayfish? Uh, oh, good. Some, uh, Lovely. Cheers, mate. No mai hoki mai ki tēnei wāhanga o Tangaroa. He mau tere mā nea nea a savai. A i tēnei rā, ko tau a hua tonu rā. Ko te ruku moana, me te tiro tiro haere te wāhi nei. Kā tahi kā haere mātou ki te hi i ka. Nō reira koutou mā, uri i mai. Kei se vai i tātou i tēnei wiki, ki kō atu i a upuru. Ko ia te mea nui rawa o ngā mautere i te taha uru o Haamoa. Ko tāku i tēnei wā, he ruku moana i te taha o Dive Savai'i. Kā tahi te nui o taku hiahia. Ko tā mātau e hare ai i tēnei rā, ko te tahi waka ko Toto Hunia. Ko te ingoa o tēnei waka ko Juno. So, bro, you're the skipper, huh? You're the skipper. You just... You the boat. Try. I'm sorry, Damien. Okay, okay, so you're starting oh. into yeah, the yeah. diving. Because we're Māori, because you're Samoan, when you see fish, do you just want to eat it? Because the Palangi, they just come for sightseeing. Yeah, just eat. Thank you very much. I toto hungia te waka rino nei, i te tau ko tahi mano e waru rau, e waru te kau mā tahi, i te waha pū o lelepa. It was an old London Missionary Society boat that sank in 1881. Uh, they were bringing over Bibles from England where they were translating it for the first time into Samoan here in Avao Bay at that green church actually. You see there with the green roof? Yeah. Right over there. So it hit the reef right out here where you see the waves breaking. Sat there for about eight years or so and then a typhoon came through and swept it to where it now lays right here under us. Okay. Uh, whenever we're doing the dive you'll see that we're actually moored up to the stern of the boat. So the stern of the boat sits at about 10 meters Okay, and then the bow sits down here at about 22. Okay, so once we get ready, we'll get it geared up. Um, everyone just check your equipment, make sure your air is on and everything's working right. Once we're all in, we'll swim up towards the front of the boat where we have the line that we can use to go down. Then we'll head around the stern of the wreck, make our way down towards the bow, and then we'll head off along the reef wall. Ko tātou tēnā e marama kua haere. Ko tīmatangi a tā mātou heke whakararo ki te waka jūnei. Anā, ma te taura nei mātou, ara hi ai i tā mātou heke ngā whakararo. He kite ngā mīhara rawātū. A, koia hoki te tahi waka tawhito rawātū. E kore kore, ko tino kākahutia ia e te mōna. he wahi pai hoki o te tini a Tangaroa. E noho ana ki konei. He miharo taku ki te ngātu. He whānui hoki te waka nei. The wreck was a lot bigger and a lot more substantial than I thought. Yeah, yeah. 50 metres long, that's how big the boat was. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, well, about 117 feet, close enough, 50 meters. Wow, no, it's huge. And how long do you say it's been sitting down there? Over 100 years, so it sank in 1881. Yeah. Yeah, so it's had uh, quite a lot of time for a lot of the coral growth to grow onto it. Yeah. That you saw back there. Yeah. Lots of big formations and stuff of the big mushroom corals. Mate, it was very, very cool. Nice, eh? But the thing that blew me away, bro, I've got to say, is the little disco clam. That's cool, huh? Yeah, it's like little it's neon light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of those things. They're quite rare, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a chemical reaction that uh, creates the lights, mm. makes it look like it's flashing. Yeah. yeah. He mea miharo tēnei wahi e marama, mā taku kaiarahi e whakātu ana i ngā koe ora nui rawa i konei. He tino rawa e taku kitenga i enei taonga katoa. I tēnei wahi, he tino motuhake te hanganga mai o ngā koe ora nei. Miharo! What's with the change in coral, bro? The Those, coral? Yeah, the soft corals. Oh, the magic coral, That's the ghost it. coral. Yeah. It's cool, eh? Yeah. It's got these little brown hairs that stick out. That's why it looks like it's brown. We've all got those. And you touch that. <laughs> <laughs> you touch that. Yeah. They suck back in. Yeah. And it exposes the white surface of the coral itself. Oh, that's it's actually one of, it is. one of the only types of corals that's okay to touch. Okay. All the other hard stuff you don't want to be touching and stuff because uh, oils on our hands can damage other yeah. types of corals, but that one's actually okay to touch. Yeah, but lots of fish. It was, it was a really good dive and a comfortable dive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool, bro. Thanks right, again. Man. And uh, dive survey. Joy, scuppy. Yeah. Akati no ku te waimarie. I taua tu a hau ki te ruku haere i te waka juna. He mahi ngā rere ke rawa. He mea whakaue, he waka whānui rawa atu hoki. That was an awesome dive. Very pleasant. Uh, but the wreck was cool. Uh, lots of lovely fish. And some, what was that thing we saw with the electric lights, bro? Electric clam. The electric clam. I reckon that's a good name for a band, actually. The electric clam. Engari, te noa tāhu tēnei rukuruku. Kāraui. Not even out of the lagoon. Heading out towards the channel. And something for breakfast. You going, mate? Oh, nice, nice Trevally. Can you just balance that boat out, please? Come on. Well, that's a first for Tangaroa, first for me. Komo te ika. That's fantastic. I'm a bit dumbfounded, actually. That's, uh... Mate, we wouldn't have been that far off, uh... Vai Moana at all. That's why we always drag our lures very early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as we're out, we pull the lures out. Kei te haere tonu tō mātou haerenga i rongi i te moana. Tō tōna tikanga, he tino wāhi tēnei ākau o te hi ika. Ah, e hara i te mea ohorere, kia hi a i te tangata i te GT. Koera taku tino hia hia nui nei, kia riro iau te tahi o aua ika. Kura? Yes, it would be. A little bit. Oh, no, don't bother, Dad. Looks a bit like it, eh, bro? This one, I need to go over here. Yeah. Tēnaika, he uh, barracuda, the difference is that they are really sought after up here in the islands. Pai mō te kai, uh, back down home in NZ and Aotearoa, that they have issues with worms. Ingari kai kone, e pai ana. Not a big fish, but uh, still a kai there. Ai marika, ka pai. Ana kua haere anotaka. 
My size of Trevally. Might be a nice doggy. Itaku kitenga, ite hia kai tonu nga ika ne. Loreira, he ika tate parata nei, ite nei wa tonu. Me taku fakatau, he piki farata ne e pakangana. Sweet boat, you're right, Sally. もう well hooked? Not really. Not really. Oh, mate! Mate! <laughs> Sully, that's a pretty impressive fish. <laughs> I don't think I've seen uh, a, a fish. Well, we haven't been up here catching GTs, but that's uh, people be proud of that, bro. Yes, they would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And th is that an exceptionally big one for here? No, no, that's an average. That would be an average size GT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said um, before, in, in Samoan, we have different names for the Travellis. Yep. So they start from uh, Malauli and it moves on from there. And it, it has different stages. Uh, in English, in the European um, language, as soon as it gets big, they call it a GT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple yeah. as that. But yeah. us, no, we, until it gets to that particular size, we call this a Ulua, ah. and then it becomes a GT. So everything else below that is still a Trevally to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bro, the fishery's pretty healthy, eh? There's a few here. Well, the Trevally's, the GTs, as you call them, yeah. they're here all year round. Oh, OK. So we're very fortunate in that. Whenever we come out, we're more than lucky to get one of these. Yeah. yeah. So, bro, that fish will end up where? Straight in Nomu. For a kai tonight, mm, Phil. Would we, uh, you wouldn't have any uh, coconut cream to go with it, would you? No, not, not this time. No. <laughs> <I don't laughs> we'll, take the, we'll take the head off after yeah. we've put it in Omu. Yeah. And then that gets given to one of the elders, of course. Yeah. yeah. And then maybe they'll put it in coconut cream and with a little bit of a, a broth in it. Like a nice suai as we call it. Ah. Uh, uh. ika. Matenga ika. <laughs> Tēnā koe, bro. Tēnā koe. Kāra we. Woohoo! Kei whale a lupo tātou i tēnei wā, ki te taha uru o Savai. E ai ki ngā kōrero o honei, koe nei te wāhi whakamutunga, e ki te ai i a tamanui i a rā i a rā. E wāhi huki tēnei, e kaha hāngai te a wairua, ki roti i ngā mahi katoa. So, Sully, this is a place of huge significance, not just to Savai, but to Samoa. Is this right? OK, so at home we have our Te Reringa Wairua, which is where the spirits live. Tell me about this place. Yeah, this place is called Fafa Sawali. Uh -huh. So we just have the same significance as the Maori do. It's yeah. where the, the gateway to the spirit world. Yeah. So there's two paths, spirit paths. There's a Matau Polu, yeah. which is where the Pia spirits come through, the Polu, the other island. OK. And the Matau Savai. And they're supposed to meet at a, a phono ground. There's a phono ground in the back, a big um, meeting mound for, for spirits. Yes. Before they enter into the, just like your, um, yeah. like your culture. So this is the is the, the easternmost part, westernmost. Westernmost. Westernmost part. So this is the last place to see the sunset in the world. Hey, kaore e pera na moa ke tonu atu. Ka rereke haere te wātaka, hei te otinga o te tau rua mano te kaumātahi. During the millennia, um, quite a few film crews came out here. Yeah. But we, that's all about to change in a little wee while. Yeah. Um, when the, the date line changes. But okay. To this point, we're, we might be the last film crew out here, mate. See the last sunset in the world. And rightly so, brother. <laughs> 
This island of Savai, naturally, is beautiful. But I'll tell you another thing that's really taken me is the beauty of the churches. And, mate, they're huge, Cass. I mean, some of the churches are bigger than the village. Yes, that's right. And there's always an average of about three in every village. Three? Three churches, minimum. Is there any rivalry, bro? You know, Catholic, Anglic Anglican sort of things going uh, down no, here? No, no, no. There's no such thing as rivalry here in the churches. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, that's good. Yeah, and there's a few other new churches popping up here and yeah. there. And some villages allow it, some villages don't. Yeah. Yeah, but we all, it's the same God. It's a big so, part. Yeah, it's it's, a yeah. big, and it's a big part of the culture. Yeah, yeah. But what I've noticed a lot in, in some of the areas here is they have these sort of like family man-made pools of water. Yes, that's right. That's cool. And that's all sea, sea water? It's um, fresh. OK. You'll find that it will, it will still have a little bit of salinity in it. Yeah, because it's yeah. close to the close Moana, to the, close, close to Tangaroa. Yeah. But yeah, as you, if, you, if you move along with most of these pools, you'll find some of these pools are just pure fresh water. And that's it? That's it. Your yeah. own spa pool? Your own spa pool. Yeah. Mate, my final question, you talk about this as a spiritual place. Um, would young men bring, you know, as far as courting in the island, would they sort of bring their, their dates down to this area? It's a long way to come. It's, and in, in the old days, it's, it's a lot of, there's a lot of legend that evolves around, around Falalupo. Yeah. So it's quite an eerie place if you were here. But it's, you gotta be, as a romantic at heart, if you bring a girl down, they said, westernmost point, sunset, uh, it's one of the most romantic places in the world. I te tōnga o Tamanui te rā, i tāna hokinga ki tōna wāhi moi i kona i se vai, nō ku tonu te maringa nui, me aku karekia ki a tangaroa, nāna i hō mai ki a au tēnei hōnore nui. He rangi a tāhua anō i te maitere o Savai. Kua ahua kaha te pupuhi mai o te hau. He rangi, kaore he pakuaha ki waku tama nei. Ko tā rātau i tēnei wā, he heke whakararo i te wai. Ka noho taha ki ai a hau i tēnei wā, tā te mea ki te urua pio ki te wai, ka tahi ka whakamā te katoa. A kāti e hōma, he tino wēnei tāngata mō ngā mahi nei. Me ki pēnei, he pū nui rāta? Ko mau i a koutou? Ā, kene pēr kau. He tini ngā ika e āmi o hāre ana i tēnei wāhi. He hōhonu te wai, he rangi he pai mō te tirohanga atu. Nō reira ko tāau, he whiriwhiri te ika pai hei puhinga mahau. Ka ore i roa, ka whaihua koe i tēnei wāhi. Ka ore i roa, i hoki mai rātau ki uta, ki runga i te wāpū nei. Kei kone a hau, ki te awhina i a rātau. Kia ki te hoki, Pēnā he kaha nō rātau i taku korenga i tēnei hārenga. Aloha, kau kai ai. Au. Aloha. Well done, boys. Oh. A nice guy right Pretty there, mate. Pretty good though, bro, uh, eh? That's a lot of fish, man. These guys did well. Oh. Telltale sign, eh? <laughs> Boom. That's the one beautiful eating fish, mate. Yeah. Oh, coral trout. That's the one, bro. That's the one we're going to cook up. So these are a real delicacy here, right? Yes, they are. What, what, so what's the Samoan name for this fish? Oh, oh. Well, aka aka. Aka aka. So how deep would the boys have been diving for this? About 10, 15 meters. Wow, that's awesome. Free diving. Free diving. That's awesome. That's a lot of fish. Look at that. Mm. Got the island catch bag. Island catch bag. Gee. I'm blown away, bro. Ka kite koutou te hango i nei momo ikane, 
si no rere ke ki ngā ika o te kainga. Na? Te, te kōwhai, te whero, me te hirua. Ah, wa nohi nohi ana, engari. You can only fit so much in your mouth. Yes. <laughs> hey, bro. E rite ana tēnā ika ki te... ki te tāmure whero. This looks like a red snapper. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, it is? It is a red snapper. There you go. Hey, bub. Guess what's for tea? Fish. And <laughs> chips. <laughs> <laughs> Need, all right. Beautiful. All right. Big round of applause for the divers. Well done, fellas. Awesome. As we say, two meke. No reira whāna. I te otinga o te tahi rāra no Isawai, kā rongo a hau i te tangi o taku ukulele e pēnei ana. I got a little corn beef on a coconut leaf. I got a cold vailima from the girl Cosima. I'm a living in paradise, but I got to go home. If I stay any longer, I'll be a Maori shaman. Kote miti e, kote miti e, te kai a te ranga tira e. I a wiki ka whakarite umu te ho o tēra. Kua roa rawa hau e hia hia ana ki te kai i te hāngi o hāmoa. He maha ngā kai e whakarite hia ana, he pōaka, me ana piringa katoa. The men usually know how hot it is inside there, so then they judge it from there how long it's going to stay down for. So usually only from 40, 45 minutes to an hour. Kaore he pēke riwa i tēnei hāngi e hōama, e rau mango kē. Ana, kua tau mai te pō. I te āhu nei, e kanikani ana a hine marama. I runga i a tangaroa. Well, I've just had the word from my mate, Sully. He says, pure dinner's in one hour. So I thought I'd just pop out, grab me gears, and have a bit of a look around. It's not very deep. It probably goes to about 10 or 12 metres, but uh, why wouldn't you? Ka ore he mea i kō atu i te ruku moana ki te tahi wāhi pātata atu ki tō kāinga. Hmm, ko tāku e whakāro ana. Ko wai ngā mea kei te aratunu i tēnei wāhanga o te pē. Hmm, kei te moe ngā ika i konei. Ngā tahare e pio. Pupuri te! Te pupuri i tērā. Ai! Ko tino pōturi kē ake i tēnei wā. Me hoki a hau ki o te e marama. Ko te karanga o te kai te matua mo te pio nei. Ana, e tango ana ngā tama nei i ngā rau panana. Fū, kā tahi te reka o ngā kai. Hmm, he reka te ahu o te poaka nei e wā. Au. But I have to tell you a little story before we go. My sister-in-law said to me, Pio, you've been to all these islands in the Pacific, but you have to go to Savai. It is beautiful. It's the best place in the Pacific. Of course, she would say that. My thoughts? It's right up there. But I have to say this to all the whānau, all the people who left Samoa and went to New Zealand, what a sacrifice, man. Big call. This place is paradise. See you next week right here on Tangaroa.